If you're finding us for the very first time on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button. For anywhere in between, please follow us on Instagram and Twitter at BeFreeNC to stay up to date from Chastity with Be Free Nature Center's gardening tips and tricks. Gardening made simple. Hey, hey! So here we are. Um, this is going to be our second seedling of 2023. Very exciting. Today's episode will be focusing on cabbage. Um, cabbage can be planted, um, oh, four to even six weeks before you're ready, to, or at least before you intend to plant them outside. They take about 60 to 75 days until they're mature enough for you to harvest. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, I've already got everything set up, so just kind of watch me as I navigate through all of this. Um, we didn't have any success last year with our cabbage, really. Maybe we pulled one. I did sow them outside, so this time I'm going to try indoors and see how we do. Um, I, we'll just see. This year I'm trying a lot of different things, and I'm learning a lot more about germination, and through the Master Gardening class, that really did help me um, with the Iowa State and Extension Outreach Program. So if there's any... Iowa individuals out there looking to better up on their knowledge behind gardening or just wanting to get involved in the community in a different way, then feel free to reach out to them. They're awesome. And there's a lot of webinars, just lots of different things that I've learned about that I am going to continue to share with you. So let's uh, head on over here and we'll get started. All right. So today, um, for this specific exercise, I want to use last year's Root Riot. Uh, it's something it's, it's, that needs to stay moist, and it still is surprisingly, but I really don't want to see it go to waste, so I'm going to see if this will help us. And if it works, because I do feel like I had a little bit of success last year, um, I will probably buy more. But it's just your it's starter cubes, essentially, for seeds. And it has all of the nutrients that we want to see. I'm still learning about what it is that the plants need from acidity to all of those um, one-off cases. But looks like I'm probably going to use up all of these for this. And cabbage is Mitch's favorite vegetable, so we'll just see if, if I can get any to take. And that would be so awesome, and I know he would appreciate it. Just to kind of touch on some of the, the regular, um, oh, I don't even know what you call it, but just to kind of remind everybody who's watching, you don't want uh, any sunlight on these as they germinate. So about the five to seven day window after you plant the seeds, that's considered germination period. It can be longer if the climate is not right. It could be 15 to 20 days if your soil temperature is not warm enough for the seeds to really germinate and start branching out of their shell, literally. Um, I learned the hard way, I think, last year because I didn't realize they shouldn't be underneath a grow light right away. Now, I am not speaking for everything, but in the seeds and research I've read, you really don't want them to be underneath any light. You just want that soil temperature to be above 40 degrees and optimally the 75 degree range. So, again, I didn't know that. And to get us there, we just need to water them every day with um i have just a little water bottle because you don't want the soil to be wet you want it to be moist and um that'll really help it i think the beauty of these is i can there's a little hole in the bottom maybe you guys can see that and i think i can just flip this styrofoam out and poke them out take them and put them in the greenhouse and i can reuse this tray if i need it so, I was going to donate this, well, sell it in the garage sale that we're going to have, so I guess I wasn't going to donate it, 
But anyways, these things are really awesome. They actually, they're, they feel very spongy and there's a little hole on the inside right there um, that you put your seed in. Usually, I think they say um, to put the seeds twice as deep as it is wide. I think that's the rule of thumb. So I really hope these take off. I'm nervous. It was really sad to see all of our hard work last year not get paid off. Um, so we'll just see how this goes. Uh, the good thing about these trays, and if you do want to use one, is that you can put water down in the bottom, which I probably should have done about 10 minutes before. Um, however, they're pretty moist anyways. Um, but you can water from the bottom up, and that's really good because then it gets to the roots and doesn't just rot um, the seed itself. So the soil will remain pretty moist. Looks like I got all of them in there. Thank you, Bot. That's Mama. Her name's Bot. B O T. Mitch named her after a bot fly was stuck in her neck and he had to get it out. Technically it wasn't a, a fly yet, it was just a little worm, but if it hadn't have been for that, she wouldn't be here right now. in germination mode and are excited to see where it takes us. Um, I did fill uh, the container. I don't think I can get that close, but I filled it with water. I've never used this thing before. There is styrofoam in it, so my guess would be I have to fill it quite a bit full for it to float a little and then get inside and keep the bottom up um, moist. So I don't think I have to water it as much. I will still probably spritz it so there's some humidity, but again, you don't want to put it over a grow light right now. Give it five to seven days, see how they're they're doing, and once they start sprouting, um, that'll be a good time to put them under a grow light. At least, I think it's when they start sprouting. Still learning some of these terminologies, so just bear with me and see how our process works and then compare it to yours. Any feedbacks? Greatly appreciated. Anything that we can improve on or maybe share your thoughts on how it worked for you. All right, until the next time, everybody.